Hello, welcome to part two of my Java logical tutorials, and we'll create a simple, you know, simple pro uh, display, just the window and everything. And all right, so uh, I'm gonna, you know, first of all, create a boolean that determines if we are running. I'm gonna set it true by default. And I'm just gonna create the main right here. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna create every uh, every function. Oops. So I so I know what I have to do. Um, uh, just like this, and then we will wanna have a, a input where we'll handle all handle all the input <laughs> and then also a cleanup function uh, method um, all right so in the init initialize uh, method we want to create something called a display mode Yeah, I'm gonna have to import the display. Oh, and then I'm gonna have to probably import something else. Um, yeah, I'm gonna import everything in the org.logical.opengl dot and then star to have everything imported. Uh, I'm gonna have to throw a logical exception. Alright, so now a display mode. Uh, well, it's pretty much uh, a you know a screen. You could just think of it as the screen, and we create an array of display modes, right? And that uh, array will contain every available display mode, uh, because for the screen, uh, the screen resolution, the width and height. You can't really have any within height. You have to have certain within heights, um, apparently. So, you know, we could pass in here probably a int width and int height. So, um, you know, a, a bit per pixel if you want to. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. But we have to, uh, you know, loop through. every crap every available display mode in DM and wanna check if mode dot uh, get width is equal to the width we have specified and if the mode dot get height is equal to the height we have specified and may and you know we could do if we want to we can have an and if mode dot get bits per pixel is equal to 32. I'm just gonna use that by default. If if, if our chosen resolution has been found, uh, we can actually we should this shouldn't be void. It should be display mode, and we we could return the mode. Uh, yeah, and then if not, we could uh, return the um, dot. You know the first element of DM. We, we could return that for so we so we at least get some sort of display, right? And so that's for the uh, well. We don't really. We could actually do. We don't really have to return. We could do display dot set crap set display mode to mode. That should be better, actually. And yeah, okay. So that should happen. I hope so. And then down here we could set display dot set title, for example. This is All right. We could just set a title and then. 
I don't know. Well, we at least have to create it. Um, and then just you know set full screen if you want to a icon parent yeah and uh, v sync enabled that's prob I think that's if you want to be able to sync the uh, frame rate so uh, it doesn't run too fast uh, so yeah all right so the display has been set up now we wanna set up the actual OpenGL stuffs. Um, so you know, just uh, normal OpenGL. If you have ever done that, you pass in a GL. Just you know, you just all you need to do is pass in a GL11 uh, reference to class. So you reference that class and then the GL. You know, set the matrix mode to your projection. You know, and then just I I'll, I will I always clear those or reset them. And then you have ortho if you want a 2D view. And then I'm just gonna create it. And well, for the for the width and height, we could you know get display dot get width. Crap. And then for the, the same for the bottom. So get display mode. Dot get height. Right, and then for the top, I want just zero. And then I'm not gonna have any depth for the 2D 2D view. All right, and then I'm gonna set the matrix mode to the model view, and then I'm gonna crap. clear that as well alright so that's how I basically set up my basic OpenGL games always and uh, why I have why I pass this uh, between these two you know, I don't really know it's just how I do it I guess it wouldn't be any difference if we if you pass that after I mean if you want uh, in-depth information about OpenGL you should go to the Nihis site um, is oh crap is going to Google and then oh my face and then Nihi open gel that should be the first you know it's an old site with great document uh, great tutorials on how to use open gel so definitely check that out all right so okay I have time um, so I have set up a basic OpenGL view and stuff. Um, let's also enable transparency for textures and stuff. So I'm gonna do you'll uh, enable alpha test. Then I'm gonna yield eleven dot yield alpha funk yield greater, and then I'm gonna zero point four. So this means that anything greater than 0 0.4 will not be invisible and anything below 0 0.4 will be invisible so um, I guess in a normal graphics program uh, or paint program like GIMP the alpha channel ranges from 0 to 255 in OpenGL colors and alpha channel uh, alpha color ranges from 0 to 1 so anything you know, between is different steps, and you can have any. You know, you can have how small you want, and uh, so that's why we specify it as in f uh, float. Uh, if that you know confuses you, you could you know have the alpha value and just divide it by 255, and that should give you uh, it in uh, you know float values. But I'm just 0 0.4. All right, and then we could create a background so yield clear color, and then I'm gonna create a nice little blue blue color. 
All right. So that's the initialize uh, function. Now we want to run everything. So while running, um, why doesn't private static? I have to okay, it should be the running should be static. Okay. So while running, um, uh, before that we could call the init. init. Um, yeah. So let's see what error we got. Yeah, I'm gonna surround that. We try and catch. All right. Um. So while running, we want to I guess first check for input, and then for run. Uh, I should have another. Public static void updates. So input updates render and then clean up. So why I do this do the different functions in this order is because I like to think li like this. First we click a key, then we update you know a object position and then we render the new uh, location. So you know that's how I like to do it. Um I guess we could instead of running we could use display that is o that is o is could we do this if while is not displayed or is close request I don't know maybe ah well I don't know okay so if in the input if keyboard dot is key down and then key I don't know key dot no keyboard dot key f f5 so, so if f what am I doing okay if f5 is clicked what do we want to do well we want to display that You know, I want to close it so do I guess that's probably what I wanna then running set running to false okay I'm just doing some experimenting here while while going on <laughs> anyway we don't want to do anything in the update yet and in the render we want to do a you know clear and then just clear the color buffer uh, or else we would get strange colors and we could actually end up with having yeah it would just all and I also w want to load I uh, reset reset uh, or clear the matrix mode so you know as you saw here the, the last mode we switched to was the model view and in each render each time you render you want to I want I always want to clear that or else you can end up with getting strange um, really strange results and, and I think you wanna do up here display dot update actually yeah so I mean that will you know update the display <laughs> all right uh, and then here display dot destroy all right, so main class main and why does that say yellow?
No. Maybe this shouldn't be static. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try and run this, see what happens. She fails. And yeah, we have a window. So apparently it succeeded. Uh yeah, so to be honest, the hardest part is probably the up uh, setup because I'm still confused with it. Um I kind of improvised there. Uh <laughs> So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. And it's 15 minutes, so I guess I'll be. Uh, this will be two parts, but yeah. So that's the simple window. Um, not so simple. So yeah. Later. I hope you enjoyed. So.